real problem. And the catch of the rotation through tube is something that's in the back of my mind. Spike is down, but Vitality did pressure mid early. We saw it. So now we know, okay, well, this is where things get dicey. NIP know about this, though, and instantly Chihuahua has turned attention. A man that we want to pay attention to, especially in the new role. See how he's suiting towards it. And pretty well thus far. Looking for the follow-up. Gets it, too. This is lovely work from NIP. Need to see what Eccles could do here as well. Side goes in. Nothing kind of caught with that flash on the left side. So focusing towards the right. And the crossfire is a decent so far. Enemy that's it. A combination of the snake bite. Is Vat going to find his third there? It's down to Rhyme now. Sender with the jump peak. Well, that's he better him. Flash comes in. Force him off the angle. They get a crunch down towards the kind of L bed. And that's gorgeous. That's worked perfectly. And now it's still a problem. Bear in mind, they are on pistols. They've recovered a couple, but Chihuahua makes light work of it. See her onto A, you know. A few more bodies this time to at least defend entry <laughs> vitality, but uh, shall we got to be careful. Actually, look at that. Perfect. Flash through. Loki going to find the first. Shall we follows up. Brams also going to respond to everything going right for vitality in the early round. And down to just Eccles and JD here to see if they can recover this. But on the back of no investment, Lauren. True, but none of the rifles so far are recoverable. They're all still pretty deep towards A, so it's not like an instant upgrade yet for Vitality, but obviously they have the numbers and they have a good yeah, position. Yeah. Now, I would say Viper's position is filthy, but it is a little dangerous and Eccles is going to punish. That's created space. Speaking of that, JD now leers forward. Now, the other player was towards Double Door, didn't quite catch it, flashed deep towards Sight. Didn't catch the information, so they know maybe they can plant on that default side, but it's a fake. JD looking for that player, but Vax not giving it up yet. Bram's doubled up towards the short left. side of sight. Taps away, JD could do with another. Vax denied it. He needs to clutch again. He was the man who made that first round possible with Eccles. Pops out in play, so already ult comes in. Going to give away the game towards Sender, who's actually fine. The flashes, the utility exchange worked pretty favorably, at least for one towards Korea. Excellent trade. So JD's position, an absolute turret, puts himself in prime pole exactly position to punish. Oh, look how brave he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. He's re-aggressing <gasps> a little bit. Barrel now. <gasps> Korea! You absolute heartbreaker, you. Loki had such an opportunity, and now they lean back. Now, the big difference maker is there's still a player on the site. How much can Brams do, potentially, to hold this all by himself? He's got support in CT, but Vac might as well be on another island right now, as here comes the hit. Flash now to hand. High flash comes in. Curves towards CT. Information, but it catches Ryan more than anything. So now Brams able to get away with murder. It's a murder scene on the site, and look at this. It's just Chihuahua now, who had that... A little bit of a tricky exchange earlier on. Four seconds. Just wants to keep the op, but be a little more aggressive about the posturing of it. So they can't read into this just yet. Now, this could be a pop this flash through. The extras back in for Eccles. They have basically a 5v1. Make it 5v2 as Loki is on the way over, playing through from connector. Chihuahua down a little low, but will build back up. And Sender just trying to play set. Oh, that's a freebie you'll take every day of the week. Eccles now down. That's a big loss there. That's a spike having to be recovered. It is. But look at Sender playing this so perfectly. He has no idea that JD is here. Walks into the trap, loses his life. Wall goes back up. They need the spike down, and they've got it. The spike, I'm actually spotted the information as well. This elbow flank coming through. And we'll eat that first flash. But what? She found Salami through the Viper's pit here. Bram's going to slip on through, but the pressure Jeez. building. JD cannot miss. That's two kills. He couldn't see the player twice. The pure intuition just working perfectly. And Loki now presented with a 1v3. And Kree has been the nuisance that he was meant to be. But he does lose his life. Alt now down, but JD is there. And JD's had a tear oh. this mid. I don't want to say available, but it's optional. Chihuahua's there with Echoes, and they pressured it. Now they know that, okay, Sky's lit. Should be still okay to go. Still good to get one going. Not bad trade. I have to see if now Eccles is aware that there's another. It doesn't matter. Kree has got his back. And now those cheeky little quirky oh, angles. No. A brute force on with this numbers oh, nice. advantage, but Vac will find Vendor. one. Kree responds elsewhere. The shock dart decent for a little bit of damage, but oh, this is no kill just yet. Look at Vac right now. What? Pretty much golden and it's again showing this b piece and it's it's almost rinse and repeat they've got the look to it i want to see the counter to it what do vitality have in store this looks like their answer pop the ults and hope for the best well they found one and shallaby's found a second that's the man we want to be seeing shallaby here jd might actually just catch him and he's sharp today back will fall and actually opens things up look at that jd from the top rope the neural theft not available though brams 
But JD is not. Oh, mm. JD mm. was so smart in checking this as well. He took the timer. Yeah, and look, and look at the mid position coming out. No from way. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. They've been nutmegged on this round, and Sender's feeling a little silly here. A one v two, and he's going to retake in the dark. That was perfect. What a read. Yeah. Oh, I'm at. And Sender fun. knows it. It, as yeah. soon as you start just, you know, thudding on in, you know you're in danger. There's it's the trade. It's another 4K. Okay. Bloody hell, JD. Was that a 2v5? Backed away and then hit that B-side, but I guess with the ult in there, Loki needs it, gets it. Good work. Good adjust there towards Chihuahua. Dips into the smoke, gives himself some safety. Flash comes out to maybe slow down the piece, but NIP, they're not actually fully committed yet. Oh, they're not. Damage done, I guess, initially. Actually, the recon bolt going to tag as well, but... Shlabby doing a really good job of slowing this down, but no flashes left, and NIP will creep closer and closer on the back of that. Loki. And get a nice combination with this guy there. Flash up in 15, that's that's a lifetime at this point, but great work to turn the flash. Dips through as a There's the aim! Shelby looking gorgeous with this work, and Vax got his back. Lady actually in position to potentially pinch. Oh. But Shelby. It's the better of him. Okay. I've got a bit of hope this round. Dig their heels in now. Rams. The line. Oh, he had two. He had two dead to rights. Back just trying to buy some time on this potential B piece. I'm looking at the lurk from Sky as well. There it is. Eccles finds Shallaby. So that's really going to be a big well. cut off. Okay. And now Loki <gasps> on the flank. Oh, he's got Kriya. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> the first two bullets went uh, astray there. Do they know where Eccles is? Hold on. No, they don't. Hold on. He's, he's actually gone away with this. He's seen Loki as well. He knows where he is. He's got 30 seconds still to play with right now. He's going to lose track of Loki to an extent. He has another flash in seven seconds. Clears down towards main. He's predicting this. He's no predicting way. this so well off the back of that flash, but it's down to the eight now. By his side, and Loki gets him. Reed. Three players here. Look at Chewie's position. Ready and waiting. Flashed up, sure, but he's going to be able to deal with Loki. Fall into that little cubby spot as well. Stays alive, but they did lose Kriya. There is still an additional man, but JD's Daddy. got his back. He's Daddy. got two. Dragging him to the grave. Going to see it all coming through. Eats the flash, doesn't matter. He's got the spike. He knows that there's sort of a clear towards the close angles, but you know NIP are playing that spike. There's out by the wall, looking down towards CT. There's the dip through. Chihuahua puts his life on the line. We'll lose it, but for a one-for-one -one trade. And now both of them sacked up at Pillar. That's nasty. And they will... I've gone through. And Eccles, I'm pretty sure, is due a flash in the next couple of seconds. They will hang tight for the time being. They're going to actually double swing this. Look at that. Again, completely through just yet. So it's not going to actually be. There we go. Perfectly positioned. And it will garner him two kills on the way in. It was a Sophie's choice, right? We either sit here and wait and die, yep. or we push forward, get revealed, <laughs> and die. There's no good way out of it. Such, such great work from Rhyme. Beautiful. And he reaps Beautiful. the reward. Well, which is something we touched on very early on. This map, but actually, come back to that. As Loki going to open things up. Eccles will fall in elbow. Korea going to have to retreat. Put that wall up. Try and slow things down a little bit. Vitality strike first. And second and third, I guess. Yeah, down to just Creo yeah. two hour now. I mean, it's bonus round time. Bit of a supermarket sweep. Go around. Grab all the goodies. Used to hate that show sometimes. I want the Seekers. Going to force him away. Great response from Loki. I was waiting to see if he would actually push on it. But Creo still alive. Needs to take one more with him. That would be ideal. Able to only get one at this point. But the site's now going to be swarmed. This remaining. should be vital. Might make it tricky to go forward. And now the Seekers, that's that's kind of just trashed the kind of, I guess, quieter play that was coming through from Tube. Flash goes in, doesn't find anything for it. I don't think I didn't hear the pop. But they're going to be on the back of it. Shalabi's going to find Kriya. There's a trade out, though. Let's keep in mind how this goes. And suddenly there go the Seekers on the other side. Right now, going to get headshots galore, but only going to find one of them. Eccles has his back to the back of the bridge. But that, what a shot from him. And now down to the 1v2. It's Sender with it all to do. Uh, and the Neural Theft popped as well, yes. Sender gets his Vipers pit online to replace Kriya's as he falls, but... Toxin screen down. NIP with a lot of time left in this retake here. Oh. Sender going to try and take matters into his own hands. Chihuahua just charging through. The run and gun will shut him down. He was only... He did have the big old bank, but Chihuahua... 
He's, he's getting peaky on it. Yeah, that's nasty. That's confidence play from Chihuahua there to find Vac to start with as well. That's an alt now removed from this round that they could have potentially depended on in that post plant if they could get there. But Loki wants to utilize his as best he can. Slicing up through middle. Takes Eckle's head as a trophy. Gonna dash through towards the doors. Gets denied by JD with the trade there. Bram's could have done with that double, but no, denied it. And now the 2v2, but Queer's heard all of this. He's heard these steps. Got to know what they're doing. Now he waits. The barrel might show first. With the timing's at <gasps> Sender! He's absolutely done him! No, he gets it. Yeah. Toast. Absolute toast. Yep. Dog at least saw I know it's like the Tasmanian tiger. I call it dog, I don't you know. I'm pretty sure it saw enough and yeah, Vax found Kriya. Oh that's horrible news, but Brams! On those back lines, NIP aren't getting an inch back towards his sight. This is straight up vitalities at this point. Spike can be planted. There is an old pop on the other side. Can it deny the plant? I think it has. It's a matter of how long. Flank That's, comes in, send yeah, the catching. Uh, yeah, everything's just crossed off right now. This is this is a perfect round from Vitality at this point. Position to hear all this information back through his mid rotation, but unable to find that one. Loki actually. We get the better of him there. And Sender once again posted <laughs> up. This is so well considered from Vitality and so clean once again. Five alive. He spotted another player on the flank. Look at this from Sender right now. Another round. Another round where he's standing with a man advantage. And then I Pete, three sheriffs. And a marshal here. Anyone? Korea? Uh oh. Yeah. Well, wow. it's. It's not long. You get spotted on B-side like that, it's not long until you just flushed out with utility like that. And again, that combo, absolutely deadly. The shock dart and the snake bite. Oh, the flank. If Loki wins that, yeah, I, I think that one's now been fell off of the knees. I thought there was a bit of a chance for JD getting this far ahead. They seem aware of the chance of it. The swing, the check, didn't go deep enough from back to fully admit to it yet. JD's been able to creep a little closer hearing all of this finally reveals position but Sender's spot is <laughs> it's not normal head height but if you take the fight he's gonna what? This makes it possible it's not ideal okay. oh. it looks like they want to you can see Shalabi oh, he was so aware of the chance of it but Ryan beats him to the punch. No trade for VAC available. Falls away slightly from this now but are they gonna keep going this way? I mean They've just lost Brams as well towards Tube. It's the first time we're really seeing this A piece come out this late in the game, and it's working through the oh, I don't like win. this uh, for Vitality. It's great for an IP, but this feels like Vitality just ran out of steam in this round. Yeah, Vac does actually slip away from the Viper's pit, but left. only two left standing. This is five and 20 seconds left on the clock. This is when the desperation, the paranoia starts building. Rhyme hits that one tap through the wall before it drops. Loki can't find a headshot, but we'll get the reset on two hours, actually. 13 seconds left now, and it's looking like... He's heard the steps. Oh, Chihuahua, that's a freebie every day of the week. Now, do they cancel? They're so far into this, they've got to commit, right? Shilabi's now on the back of the side waiting. He's going to lose the teammates around him, but he's still standing tall. Flash comes in, takes the fight, wins the fight, and Vitality hold the line. As Chihuahua took down one, but the rest all stood their ground. A brave fight from Shilabi there, maybe feeling himself. Two of them in Looking like they might want to walk it and actually send out a probe. <laughs> Oh, oh no. This could, this could be a disaster in the making. Loki gonna see one loses the fight. Rhymes there, but the trade comes in. Sender. Excellent play with two. But what Look is this, this absolute madness? Both members of NRP set up here. Operator in hand for two hours. Jump, Jump spot come through. Dead. <laughs> White. Dig out the sky on sight, but that's gonna be great work from Chihuahua. Finds back, and that's gonna just kind of slice off those rotations. It's kind of a 2v4 on the site, pretty much. Shelby is still alive here. Unnoted, he does finally get revealed, gets found, but he's still finding space. This man There's knows so his much lines. Pressure. There's so but much <laughs> pressure on him. Truly. Bram's trying to come on in, help him out a bit here. NIP in the rattiest of positions, making this very difficult. Rhyme now being removed is a big scalp to be claiming, but NIP in the post plant, what do they have left in this? Kree is still there. Utility now invested. He knows he's trying to buy the time on this. They could just, uh, they could, I don't even think they can spam this. Chihuahua actually going to get a kill on the diffuser. He's going to get a lot of damage as well. The kill's coming through for NIP. Look at this, Lauren. I'm looking at the diffuser right now. Loki is sitting on this one. He's not going to get off it for love nor money. Oh. 
is that NIP's defensive side has brought question marks to us, but that could be better. He's hearing these steps. Can he get the punish? Oh, no, Chihuahua quicker on the trigger. Bram's going to be made to feel silly about it. And now five still stand. Make it four this time. Shallaby is not going to loom for on the back of it. But NIP are walking through. Shot beer rhyme opens things up onto Vac, and that might stop. Sender and Shalabi in rotation here. 30 seconds Or, left. I guess, yeah, maybe not. Korea didn't need to face that open on it. Quick flash comes in. No one's close. So not too worried about that close box on the left, but there's still that face coming out that could be an issue. JD watching for this. Tries to get the timing, doesn't get the tag. 10 seconds on the board now. Timing is going to be a key factor. JD finds sender, and now Shalabi... Backfill Shalabi. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is... This is going to be a retake, 5v5 sort of scenario. Oh. Enemy down. Oh! How is he... Area. That confident to sit there and just fully commit that no one would have walked maybe up towards triple box, but... That's uh, an issue neither here nor there now, as Vitality have to work this back in with four, and then look at the flank here, look at this timing coming out, let's see how it works through for Eccles, he sees the gun barrel, he knows what's happening, so many of these kills are just well positioned, well timed, and... A little unfortunate, you might say, for Vitality as Loki, Vac, and Brams. What are you meant to do with this? <laughs> Chihuahua. Also, for good measure, makes his way up tube. The backstab from Bridge. Will not note Loki's position, but down to 31 HP and just a formality now. The time ticking away for him. Not even a consolation. Eccles will stamp this. The smokes at this point. Oh, dear. Two noted. Big info. JD's now under scrutiny leans a little away from this 3-2 split oh, the no. three portion plays back in sender gets him off the back of that ping Ryan tries to catch him on the cross not going to get it but sender on the punish good play forward from sender expecting the flash tucked himself into the corner Eccles up on the bridge Ooh, peaks advantage and then some man's been swinging but it is a 3v4 yeah and 20 seconds left on that flash which is a big Loki takes his eyes off Angle for just a moment here. He will escape for the time being. And up here, got to find something. They've got to find it fast here, Lauren. They really do. They've got to get a move on. Otherwise, this might be done for. It's looking like it's already a little cooked at this point. Good work between the two. But time. Keep that in the back of your mind. They do not have a great deal of it. Flash goes in. Catches nothing. One's still on the side. One's in the smoke. Kriya can't dig him out of it. Shalby's right there. Eccles does well. But at this point, keep your eye on the spike. It's about to go up and we continue to... It's actually Shalabi that's going to backfill Loki on B site. I think the window of opportunity has passed here. This is a mistake from NIP, oh. but Chihuahua finds the entry. Pausing for thought, maybe seeing if they'll get over aggressive somewhere. But for now, this is quite fine. They've crossed towards the side, but look how many players are in towards CT. Three of them all lined up there, playing towards the wall too. One deeper towards CT, which is Loki, and then Brams playing towards more middle. How is this going to work out? 5v4 post plant. Utility. Yeah. Shelby's got a fair amount. Keep that in mind. So he might be able to facilitate something. There's that first splash gone. Catching towards the back of side. Chihuahua's going to receive it. But it's fine. NIP have several other angles to work on. Shelby can We talk about out. conditioning as a factor Match here. Point. The knowledge there from NIP, they know exactly. The other side. Who was it that got contact? I actually don't know. Because that, that could be kind of big information on either side. That if it was a player that kind of maybe sits deep swing towards B or one of the first rotations towards B, you'd be like, well, no one's here. What? It's a really weird start to a round because... There's not been a big response. Yeah, Loki's been lost. But that was towards middle. That would have happened, I feel, either way. I just want to see what happens now. The rotation. Look how deep they're sitting on B. This is a full retake. Yeah. This is... this is. We're never going to be trying to take that fight on B. And last time that but retake didn't go so well. The important thing is the setup's been here from the start, though. Look at this retake wall. That's already set up. Korea has aligned this along both pillars, right? They, they pretty much can't play. They can play site. But they're not going to have any information, Lauren. Look at this. This wall is perfect. That's such a unique way to do it. Very much aware of the possibility. So I wonder how this plays out. Because keep in mind that last retake from the other team didn't go so well. But look at this flank coming in through middle as well. Sender around the back. He holds. He waits. Korea's found two. JD's found another. Sender, this has to be the flank of all time. And he's just about whiffed it as bad as he could there. That's not gone well. And yeah, there you go. This is going to be just icing on the cake. There's nothing more to be said nor done. Sender, a good attempt to deny. Does it down Eccles. He can't do any more. Too many bodies simply put in the way. Yeah. Um, 
So we'll see how he looks in this one already. You can see Shalabi finding Korea. We did say we get to see him on that raise. JD dips back through. That could have been a double there. I felt it for a second, but no. Denied by Brams. Now Rhyme playing by Pillar. Now, does he get to isolate the one here? He's been getting away scot-free with this. They have no idea where he is. Eccles just has to live. Sets up Rhyme so well. The shot doesn't land. Shilabi's doing brilliantly here. Three kills for him. And now a 1v3 presented for Chihuahua. Now, keep in mind... So oh! Oh my god! How's he got away with it? How's he, how is he getting away with this? 30 HP! Almost... Left. Almost catching one on the cross there. Dips back through no Loki now. The, the okay. here again! First off... Chihuahua's the only thing on the first and the flash and dash comes through, but look at this playing anti flash here from Chihuahua and he will actually find the first and get away. JD will double back dip. Up. That's a two man that. advantage. I love that backup. It allowed so much more freedom because of course they wanted to get in towards Chihuahua. It gets called out, hey, he's low HP, let's try and get in on this. And instantly JD is right hey. there by his side. Perfect play. What a beautiful round. And this if this is flawless, which it will be. That's a it is absolutely scot free, but the playback through is going to be the interesting part. Spike still <laughs> left towards the back of sight. Love this here. The paranoia comes through, and actually the paint shell as well. It's going to force Loki into a very trick, tricky position. That gets caught with the fault line on the way out as we throw out that showstopper, but a little bit of a roser on that one. And Sender will find Eccles. Yeah, Sender's position is golden now. Rhyme slipped the net though. That could be a little bit of a problem, but no, Vax got his back and now already we're seeing this down to a 2v2. Far more feasible. Ice towards the spike being herded in by Brams. Vax wants to be proactive. Play towards CT. Almost copped a fair crack of damage. Tawawa leans out through the rafters. Might play into that smoke for a second. Clear down. Sees nothing instantly. And Vax's position could be real nasty. Let's see the timing on this too. Rams has been found. No Vac goes around the world. He needs to he needs to play this calm and collected. He's gonna see one. He pulls the trigger. He dips back into the smoke. Hits the reload. Goes back through before he actually had the mag in the gun. But he's playing the time well here. But he has to still land the shot. Beautiful he does. Round. Two HP. I posted up here. Oh, with this angle, oh, the paranoia gonna force him off for just long enough to potentially get this plant once again. Chihuahua dips in, finds the first, gets away with his life. Yeah, Chihuahua's being a real threat here from CT, but. They have been able to somewhat navigate around him, only losing one after so much utility was put down just to keep him at bay. And four players in a post plant, no easy way back through. This double kind of playback in through B main is still a little way off. So time is going to be a factor. Vac waiting, I think utility in hand. And yeah, does he get that? The internal clock's ticked. He now knows there could be a problem. He's going to invest the utility, lose his life. There's the ult pop off the back, and now it's game time. Shalabi's found Eccles quickly, pops out the ult, sends it in, hopes for the best, and NIP! just crunch them here. No one's forced him off the angle yet. Vitality maybe had the idea towards middle, but they can't get past him. Chihuahua's confirmation's being found. Everything's been noted, but an overstep from Chihuahua. Punished by Loki, and now there's a chance. And it's a slim 130 seconds, but they've got to make the side hit count. Brams to find JD. It's game on. They have to get through. Eccles left. falls. Vitality sticking the landing on this right side there. take. And somehow, actually, come out with the upper hand here. Two-man advantage, Rhyme and Kriya have to try and recover something in this round. Cover going out. Actually, Vac going to be close enough on the other side of uh, Rafters here to hear that sound cue. Kriya popping the smoke. And low key. Rhyme, wise to it though. Look at that. Digs him out of mail. Sender good for the trade. Where do they take? They're just pausing. They're pausing to see if there's anyone willing to just re-peek it, have a little look, see if there's another punish potential on it, but no. And now Chihuahua. How much can you do? Spike now noted, flash comes in, blind still. Falls out of it now, but worried about that main push as well. Chihuahua is above them. Oh, Chihuahua's just absolutely rope doped and Brams is baffled. And Chihuahua can just be a nuisance. Oh, Chihuahua! Oh my God. This is sick stuff from Chihuahua. Playing like an absolute demon right now. Shilabi's trying to play through towards CT, has a look, looks the wrong way, but JD actually doesn't hit the first, he hits the second time of it, and again, production, what are you doing treating us like this? Woohoo! Um, we do have the ult coming out from KJ, nothing really to come from it, as Ryan's just going to be absolutely precise as a surgeon with that. Just scalpel in hand, taking off everybody's head so far. Brams finally puts him down, JD's got his back, but it is down to a 1v2. Sender, what's in the tank now? Spike to hand, he wants this kill. If he can get it on Eccles, that changes the game completely. He's done him. He's absolutely nutmegged him. 50 I seconds now. 
spike goes in, Chihuahua's already just clearing through the sights and has got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Probably 1v2 that they see this is a, a vitality favored map. This is still not a bad performance from NIP, but we still have to see how this closes out. It's the halfway mark. No one remembers the halfway. They remember the end. Korea, though, does find Brams, and now we're going to see the TP back. Korea needs some safety. Get away from danger. Sender wants to punish this, and he's going to do so, but actually finds Eccles. It's back that finds Korea, and vitality on the site take punishing. Korea. Oh, should that be actually comes out the better in terms of damage there, but two hour quick with the trade. A one for one. Right, I'm going to be careful with that. through from B main. Look at this, it's beautiful. But Brams will actually fall here. Back down to 3 HP, but escapes with a ghost. Now, huge health advantage and positional advantage here for NIP as the spike but will go down on B side. Exactly. I'm so glad the Chihuahua quickly took over B main control to remove that potential threat and keep site space. That retake could have been nasty if he had left that open. They'd been so paranoid about it, they wouldn't be able to hold completely towards heaven and maybe CT but here we go already the play back through Chihuahua turns his attention towards it it's all three players up there they know that no one else is coming on that flank anymore and JD waiting so well does get the headshot it's back though in the 1v1 the HP is so low and Eccles does the job required I mean you call it a one and done should I be here to back him up which is yeah we're gonna keep him safe for the time being but no more charges left again with just the one player noted and IP now drift back towards B garage. All three in there. They're going to pop this smoke. They've got to. There it is in combination. A little bit of a set piece. You can see the race flying on in, but Vitality just keeping Beautiful. him at the door. I'm not overly sold with that, but I want to see how the handling happens on the site. A one for one trade out so far. Ramp is now open and available. Send is the next line of defense as Loki encroaching slowly, but surely barrel in your face. Send that gets past Chihuahua. <laughs> 28 HP, but still alive and still kicking, just buying the time for that flank to come in. Loki, not so subtle. There's a 3v3, still plenty of room for opportunity. Rhymes found center, that's a problem now. Loki in back feeling a little... What? Kriya turns back through that. Punishing Vak, and now this flank that was building for so long has to come in, but it's a 1v3, has to give away the game. That s instantly makes you feel a little less spicy about it. Ramp the first test, and he fails it. JD's got him. Blinding. Don't mind a slow around here. Just take your time on it. Don't need to rush things. Try and get the feel out of maybe there's a stack, something going on. You know the money's in a weird spot, so why not try and be cautious about it? Yeah, can still left. set up, and I think NIP have this is, <laughs> potentially this misread is what I hate, this. Though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's, there's there's a fine balance. Left. And if and they it just trade so it, wrong. Oh, okay. Hold on, the nade could still be pretty decent. Let's have a look. Keep your eyes on it. 16 seconds. Shabby's round Korea. This is where it gets problematic. The more damage it gets done, the worse this gets because suddenly those pistols become a problem. Like this. Already Ryan's gone down. Eccles is there. JD, great work coming back in. But Spike now going down. Four seconds left. It should be okay. Chihuahua. Making things look a little bit harder than they have to be. JD, keep him back, back. Slipped on in. <gasps> Not quick enough. Oh no, this has just suddenly gone to absolute madness. Chihuahua called upon. He needs to find this. Dashes towards the site, tries to pull the player off, and he's going to believe in it. He's going to bank on it. And now the timing's everything. Back using all that util utility. Chihuahua! Chihuahua. He knows the time. Play retake with the lockdown. A site's on a platter right now, and then I appear able to set up accordingly. Are again still showing presence towards Ram being a problem for the retake. And you can see Ryan then applying pressure towards CT, and that's interesting. So KJ all comes in, they go to do the damage right about now. You can see him trying to get a little proactive with it. Loki's found Ryan. Korea wants in, can't get it. JD there though. JD has been the raid boss of this team. No players getting detained, and here it comes Echoes. Back of the site, here's the step coming in. Shalabi needs it, gets it, and now here we go. Chihuahua. What can you do? That smoke is being <laughs> What's being watched? But it's fine. It's fine. And it's just a trade-off of abilities here. No damage exchanged. No real map control garnered. They're actually going to swing back towards ropes here. Yeah, and, and Brams has two ways of playing. Okay, he actually falls away. 
So he's going to sit deep on the side. They're going to re-aggress the towards pump. B. So they've pulled the rotations and it is indeed the double pump. But it's only going to be one so far. Send has held it. Shabby from the side's a little bit paranoid as well from Main. And he's right to be as such. But he needs this shot and he can't get it. 12 seconds now. Time is dwindling. And this is the spike being planted. Back wants to deny. Gets the spike down though. JD can't grab one with him. And now it's down to just Rhyme. 19 HP in a dream. This would need some miracle work here, and he's not going to get it. Miracles do not come true, and backs around. Three for him, and the fuse to come Position, at least, or the possibility that somebody's playing close, but he goes unchecked once again. He's gone away with this. I, I'm amazed he's gone away with this. He, he's barely alive, just dazed and confused, blinded by the lights, and at this point, a 4v4. Now information can start being filtered through. They know where these players are for Vitality, but what are they going to do against them? Brams is still gunning this one out against Kriya. shalabi has got a little bit of danger on his plate, but they're going to peek after that fact. He's got four bullets to play with, but he's got Brams by his side. And what more would you need? Brams denies so much space and 12 achieved for Vitality. Of overtime. Who'd have thought? I know. Wild, isn't it? Crown. And this from Chihuahua is everything you'd want from him. Powerful play coming in. First potential's huge. Do have a timeout? No, don't blame Again, him. This is the needed round. TP coming out from the over there. Four players instantly here. This is a big response, but that's a big sight take as well. Already an IP. Have plenty of players here, but it's sender to find Korea. And now they're down to four. Sight's not particularly into hand. Ryan has no idea. There's two players to his right and Vitality with a punish. This looks like it's... Yeah, you dig yourselves out of this situation. Shalabi posted deep up. We'll find Cherry on the platter. JD for the second. And Echo's the last man standing for NIP. Something. Yeah, I make something of it. Uh, so, you know, you're going to force Ooh, the issue up, Cat. He actually he got yeah, three. three still swung? Actually, he got three off that knife and still swung, yeah. I guess if you'd... Uh, okay, we'll break that in a second. We've got a 2v2 and that's horrible. That was nasty. That was... Whoa. Oh, oh this no, round's horrible. Back. Okay. The high On the side of Vitality, two Spectres. Shalabi not going to get much done with his Sheriff there. Will fall and leave. This opportunity actually for NRP to come through. Loki unnoted as of yet, but now he will try and, yeah, tries to backstab and Bram's there with the pinch and he will find <laughs> a kill either side. <laughs> How is that? Yeah. Bike plan. Really nice. Right, spike planted, post plant, retake time. Let's look at what we've got on both sides. So, actually a relatively even scenario to an extent. Echo's low HP, Loki low HP, rifles on either side. JD, the value is insurmountable as ever, just being a constant presence. Brams is punished for it. That makes the step, makes the noise on the gun switch. They now know another's potentially coming through towards that kind of catwalk side. Double stack towards the back of the site. And Loki's going nowhere near this. It's just a VAC solo mission for now. Caps a spike, denied. And that's all she wrote for this round. And again, got tagged for it. Now needs to be a little bit left. more on on the ball here. Late in the day here, 25 seconds, where they are out. But they don't have much space in this post plant. Loki has a little look. A bit of a mare on that one too. NIP just had to hit the brakes for a second. They get given two free kills basically. Yeah, NIP loving this. This is everything you've dreamed of when you're in those scenarios. You had nothing going for you and then everything. Now you're going to look at Sender and Brams. What do you have to bring to the plate here? You're locked into a bit of a tricky spot. That's a good step forward though. Brams going to find the first one on towards Eccles. Tries to clear towards this deep cubby. No one's playing at the back of this. Brams now. Look how low NIP's HP is. Kree is low, Rhyme's low. This is still doable. Rhyme, careful, you're playing a dangerous game here. Sender comes in. He couldn't get the player. He needed JD! How do they live through that? It's ebb and flow to the economy around Jet. I actually don't mind it. As much as we memed about the last one, it's it's perfectly fine because he does have these to fall back on, but it is the same to be said on the other side. Chihuahua going for it as well, and already the side's taken. Yeah, the opportunity, I guess, to... Play retake on the back of Sender's ultimate. Shall I be one off the showstopper? Then that can be a big one in terms of a retake and knowing exactly where these players are going to position towards. Well, uh, spots one on the way in, wants to punish. Yeah, they are on that. No letting that get away. More damage being chipped away at, but it's only Kriya who falls back. Chihuahua has to respect it too now as the old Tommy comes in. And yeah, kind of a little clueless that Loki had made it through, but it's still clear to hold the back lines with JD. 
Send a right side, times everything. Swing on it, lovely work from Vitality on the playback through. Yeah, it cost them an ult, but who cares at this point? You get the run. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, they might get more. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't cast it in like two weeks and I'm just I just can't do it anymore apparently. Loki almost. Oh did Ooh. <laughs> What? <laughs> what no is way. going on? Loki, you are a lucky lucky boy. But uh, on the second time, not so. And now down to Vac and Sender. Vac knows where the other is, gets Chewy as well. Chewy, that's uh, Mitch's dog actually, not Chihuahua. And now there's the old being popped. We said this is a potential sender. I don't think you can do much about this one. Great choice to try and find JD, but yeah. the time was very favorable towards NIP there. Get out. Now that's going to at least stop Loki from getting out quickly, but it doesn't really stop him from getting the kill. Quick flash to follow, high flash towards the site. We'll give them the way out, but look at Loki. Still just fine he to take them. another with him. Rhymes now on his knees. And is there any more to be seen from this? The door's being closed. There is still one at the back of the site. I'm waiting to see what they can do. Echoes actually picked up a key position there in terms of getting Ryan back on his feet. Well, actually, find his third kill here. He's dipping for more. Going to find Shalabi. Back to back oh, Looks like A is the end goal here. JD going to reset back towards A main, potentially for the lockdown execute onto A site here, Lauren. That could be a fantastic idea. Let's see how that works out for them. You Rhyme looking to try and set up potentially. Eccles into play. Gets just bodied by Shalabi from the right side there. Loki's going to find Rhyme in now 10 seconds. The intentions were good, but the timing could be wrong because the utility's still in place. They weren't threatened enough to really kind of go through the utility. JD forced to try and get a spike plant. He's got three seconds. He has to get this done now. There is no time like the present. Spike is down, but look at what remains. A 3v2. Make it just one. Chihuahua with all his plate. That's a little too much to handle. I think that they left that a little too late in the day for me there. Vitality will be able to get another on the board. Uh, do you know what? They're, they're a sorry. Here goes One. Needs a little more. Oh, couldn't convert. That was really bizarre, actually. The spike goes down, but man advantage here for Vitality in the retake. And make that two. Yeah, Ryan and JD not looking so healthy at the moment. JD trying to find the right timing. Yeah, no, Vitality played that so well on the way back in. The timing was great. And IP straight out into B main. Bram what? set up. We'll find Korea initially. The trade is good, but that's uh, that's a little fruity. Uh oh. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you can't escape nah. it, can you? Took some damage early on. They knew where he was. Now they are operating. Towards that, a sight. Loki with a jump just finds JD, but it's going to be 3v2. So, still tough times for Loki and Shilabi ahead. Door trying to be closed now. Quickly reopening on that avenue of approach. Chihuahua playing towards a little bit deeper side, almost by the catwalk, two up towards the tree, and they're re-aggressing. Interesting approach from Vitality to try and retake this territory, and it's worked well for one. He needs the ball. Shilabi's got it. That's great towards Ryan. And now Echo's called upon. He knows where they both are. Isolates the first, can't get it. Lovely work with Vitality. I love that close by. Chihuahua. Oh, up towards heaven. Korea's timing could not have been better. That's that's dreamy stuff. Gonna find Loki back away, keep his life as well. Chihuahua has to be called on to try and take that attention away, because keep in mind Korea was low after that, but what a great bit of feeling of that internal clock working out. No, now they hold numbers and they have the read on the play. Oh, Chihuahua did actually have to pop a shot there, and it's actually oh look at that the lineup. It's a firing squad. Send the last man standing. He'll show his hand, but the clock ticking away, and you can find a consolation kill before he falls. This round all but done. Nip will strike back. No bonus round for a very, very heavy lean towards this B main control. Knife comes through. Going to detect at least two, two yeah. Yeah. Oh. Not bad, good info. And you can see them getting aggressive on it too. They want to isolate these two. They're, they are fighting for this one. JD sticks around to try and confirm towards Shalabi and he, he gets it. Now at this point, look at the flex on the rest of the map. Korea trying to thread the needle. Oh, he gets a surprise. He gets a drop on Loki. Try to get the follow-up as well towards... That B sign, which is Brams, but Brams keeps his cool. 
Let's see what we have to work with here. Vac a little further ahead, but Rhyme still got his number, and that's through. This is doable. It's not easy, but it's doable. This on NIP, how do they play this back in? I know where he is. That's yeah. that's not the case. They doubled up. They made sure there was so few elements that could go quick on his feet and needs to just get involved. It's beautiful from Chihuahua. Jalabi, though, still doing damage on the site itself, but NIP are not too far away, and this post plant won't be feeling safe. They haven't even got the spike left. down yet. Okay, finally plants it, but a man advantage firmly in favor. Okay, not for long. Brams will find two headshots there. It's just two members left. Korea and Chihuahua to try and recover this. And look at that. Absolutely flip Nile from Omen. Counter three. Counter three and click. Yeah. Ooh, he's, he's gone for a six. He's gone for a six on that one. That's that's big brain stuff from Chihuahua. Just counted out, pulls the trigger. Oh, Loki a little too slow on that. That could have been his. JD was on his own. That could have been a big opportunity. And the only one to fight back so far is Brams. And that recon actually not going to reveal Vax position here, but Eccles wise to the fact that he could have pushed up. Diligent there on the reapproach. Sender finds Korea on the way through though and relieves them in a 2v3 here, but Spike planted nonetheless. Sender locked down, invested. NIP trying to get ahead of the curve here and beat them to it, but we'll be forced back down short now and an opportunity to set up in this post plant hold. Actually, I'm going to get flushed out from the corner. Now, do they find one on the way back through from spawn? It's JD over there. The only one unnoted. No. Well, I guess yeah. they found him, but a little too late, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's already made his appearance. Quick trade out for Brams, though. Good work. And he now knows roughly where two of them are. He knows one's towards the spike, of course, and one's keeping him busy on short. It's got to be clean. It's got to be no quick. And he's got to shoot Brams. He does. Look at him. Gonna hear this, and JD might want to try and you know help him be baited in a little here, make some noise behind, maybe throw a little bit of presence. This has to fall off from this already. It's so much danger coming in. Korea's done well to find one. That's Shalabi gone. Could have done with a double on that. It's not. It's Sender who gets both, and that's removed huge amounts of presence. They could lean back towards B. It's completely scot free, but for now it's a spike plant and three to deny. Chihuahua, Eccles, and JD. The last alive, two towards short, one towards heaven. Eesh. Brams has that nasty little angle. Lockdown available, but that Hunter's Fury is still there. Vac has been holding on to it, and it's not even going to... Where are they off to? Vitality, you go. All right, then. We're heading it. 20 seconds. Are they madmen? Hyper, what is this? Uh, I mean, one one kill, one key piece of damage. Anything stops this oh. in its tracks. It's a bulldog. It's a bulldog and Kree are in their way. Ten seconds. They have to slow it down. Nine. The spikes on the side. They can't deny it now. Shilabi going to try and keep this one safe. That was played down to the wire. Don't it. I mean, what started off? Cover going out. And it's going to be a burst towards A. It's got to be. There's nothing much else going um, on. Rams has already been found, though. What the hell just happened there? I have no idea. Do you want to You break that down in a second. Shabby could have just done so much damage. I don't think he knows how close he was. Three players on the other side. Finally makes it through, just trying to play his life as well as he can. Spike to be planted. And now what do you do in this retake? That's it. going to get invested finally. Hunter Fury comes down with a response, but... Look at this, the kill's coming through, all in favor of Vitality now, just Rhyme the standing. Oh, Rhyme. You can find Vax senders on 19 HP. That That's not perfect. bad. That's not bad at all, how much can they live through this though? Rhyme still has to get involved. It's gonna be, oh, it's not gonna be enough.